ICT is developing at a breathtaking pace. From the incredible rise of smartphones to the opportunities of cloud computing, there are even more innovative products, services and models out there. The best thing about the internet is that it is open, and for new technologies and new software too. There are huge benefits to open source and open standards. When products or components are based on non-standard proprietary technologies, it is harder to make systems work together, harder to modify and customize them, and harder to change providers. Plus, it's harder for new, smaller suppliers to enter the market. That damages competition, it means extra costs, and it means users can't get maximum value from new innovations. In fact, the cost of having closed ICT systems is estimated at several hundred million euros a year for the public sector alone. No wonder open source is taking off. For infrastructure software, for example, collaborative development is delivering software that's best in class. And in major web players are increasingly relying on GNU and Linux. In the Commission, here are three things we are doing to support open source. First, we are supporting open source software through the seventh framework program, the EU's investment in research and innovation. Take the Open Ebola project, a new platform to build and manage enterprise clouds, built on open source, laying the basis for interoperable data centers and supported by EU investment. Second, I want to ensure that public authorities get the most value from open source and open standards, and also that open source suppliers can compete fairly in tenders. So we are preparing guidelines to help public bodies better use open standards when procuring their ICT. Indeed, this is an area where many Dutch public authorities are already ahead of the game and already enjoying the considerable benefits. Benefits like avoiding lock-in, boosting competition and improving interoperability. And third, in the European institutions ourselves, we are practicing what we preach. We are building a portal for open data, so citizens can get a wealth of Commission data in one place, easy to find, easy to search and easy to use and reuse. Because open data is a powerful resource for web innovation and a rich fuel for new, useful services. Not only that, but our, our portal will be based entirely on open source solutions. It uses the CCAN system built in Europe that many other governments are also using, including the UK and Australia, and now under consideration by the US and Canada. Plus, our own digital agenda website runs on Drupal. I'm proud that my services are the first in the Commission to use an open source tool in this way, and also, by the way, a European tool. So, have a great time at your conference. OpenICT is an amazing resource. Let's make the most out of it.